I'm Rachel Doble, and I'm a trapper. You can be, too. I'm Ben Ellis. And I'm Matt Ellis. And we're, we're trappers. trappers. And, and you, you can, can be, too. too. I'm Ed Dakin, and I'm a trapper. You can be, too. My name's Scott Ramsey. I'm a trapper. You can be, too. Turk Wendell. I'm a trapper, and you can be, too. I'm Keaton Lospinoso, and I am a trapper. You can be, too. I'm Brad Harris, and I'm a trapper. And you can be, too. A coyote from the distance approaches and attacks. A couple in Erie has a message for pet owners. Beware of coyotes. They'll be telling their neighbors to keep a close eye on their animals because of these coyotes. Many states, such as South Dakota, are instituting the predation control methods needed to help ground nesting bird populations thrive. A multi-year study in Texas, using cameras placed on ground nesting birds, showed nest predation mortality rates ranging from 57 to 69 percent, with raccoons being the highest mesopredator percentage of the study. I'm Cuz Strickland, and you probably know me as a turkey hunter if you know me at all, but now I'm a trapper. And I want to talk to you about trapping a minute. You know, for 50 years, I've been hunting and fishing for 50 years, but I was never a trapper. Trapping is no different than doing a prescribed burn or managing your timber or planting a food plot or hinging trees, whatever you can do yourself to make your spot better, whether it's your own farm, your hunting lease, maybe you're in a club with a bunch of guys. I have found that trapping was maybe the number one thing I could do. I'm Alan Probst and I'm a trapper, and you can be too. We're gonna show you the methods and techniques that are gonna allow you to become the steward of your own land. You want your land to be as good as it can be? Stay tuned. Probes here, gonna show you a trapping technique that I use out in the field. We're actually doing some uh, raccoon trapping and I'm using the Duke Dog Proof. This trap is obviously dog proof. Now it's a pull trigger system and it's something that only the raccoons, possums, and skunks can actually get down in there with their tangible fingertips and pull up on that trigger system. So you can set these around your house, your barn, uh, your anywhere on your ranch, your farm, even homeowners in you know, urban areas can use these traps and know that you're not gonna catch any dogs or cats. Even if a little dog or something gets down in there, it doesn't have those tangible fingers to pull up that trigger. So it's very easy to set. We're just pulling back on this and you're getting the trigger down in the notch and that is set already and you can see it's a little cylinder there um, that triggers down in there we're gonna have the coon reach in pull it but that is as about as simple as it gets to handling some of these critters it just goes straight in the ground give it a little quarter turn it's set and we use the bait north america trappers coon buster that goes in that cylinder to about where the trigger is and that's all you need that's going to entice them to work that set it's a crawfish based scent and then uh, you can actually take a little bit of lure which is our hunter lure and we're just going to take a little bit of that and put it on the rim just like that and we are good to go There's a place for every animal. We don't want to kill all the coyotes. We don't want to kill all the wolves. But the one thing that's really ironic with all these people that are against trapping, every wolf, every coyote, every fisher, every otter, every lynx that's been relocated to this part of the country. How did they catch those animals to relocate them? Well, they caught them in the traps that we're using today. And the traps that we're using today are very humane, very efficient, very easy on the animal. We're triple swiveling so they can have full range of motion. It's a different ball game. You are helping keep nature in check. You have a carrying capacity of the land. And once that's reached, you're gonna have a surplus. And that's what we're doing uh, on a lot of these properties is taking that surplus out of the equation. Well, we're getting our dirt hole in there. Um, I've already pounded my stake in the ground, uh, heavy duty ground town. 
We got our uh, Duke 550 here, which I'm going to set. I love these traps. Uh, pretty much every Predator set I'm putting in now, I'm using the Duke 550. It's got a night latch. You can actually hear that click. Uh, we're out here in Illinois at uh, Rocky Branch Outfitters with uh, Daryl and Diane Hafford. We're doing some uh, predation work for them, and I'm going to pound a new set in here, and I want to show you what I do most generally when I'm doing predator trapping. And you can use these techniques anywhere across the country, whether you've got your own farm, ranch, deer hunting lease, uh, you're a trapper, it really doesn't matter. I have a lot of success with this. I call it a step-down set, but really, in essence, it's just where... I get the trap two, three inches sometimes below the, the level of the ground. And I feel that that creates the momentum of that animal. They really have to commit to get down in there. And I got something down in that dirt hole that uh, is enticing them. And that's exactly what I want to do. And you can see how deep I like to get my dirt hole. That's down in there probably a good 14, 16 inches. And I want them to have to bury their nose down in that hole to where they're not thinking about what's up here on their feet. Now, we're dealing with really wet conditions. So we're using, uh, I forgot my wax dirt in Pennsylvania, so I'm using peat moss. And we're going to get that trap bedded right in there. And uh, that's one of the biggest keys when it comes to predator trapping or any trapping, you really got to bed that trap properly. You got to get that in there. You want that trap as tight as you can get it. And don't be afraid to put some pressure on it. It's not going to go off. But you want that as tight as you can possibly get that to where there's no wobble, no anything. Anywhere I step on that trap now, still a little bit wobbly. Get that jammed in there. Anywhere I step on that trap now, there's no wobble. And because if an animal comes in and he steps here on the jaw or the spring or anything and there's any wobble there, he's going to immediately back off and then he's going to start to, to dig around. And that's what you want to do. Make sure you have that trap bedded in there properly. And that's the biggest key. Once you have it bedded properly, then you just want to cover it, get it to where... It's covered up, and as you can see, the level ground here, he's going to have to commit to that set now. He's going to have to actually commit in there, and we want that just like that. Spread this up, get this all around, and that is a really good set. You can see there's not much into making this other than uh, just getting the hole dug and getting your trap bedded properly we're going to put some bait down in the hole we've been having some really good uh success with our mountain man bait this year we're going to get a good glob of that about that much down in the hole wipe that off and we're just going to add a little bit of our madness predator lure which has got a little bit of skunk essence to it and we're going to just take a stick right here get that dipped in and just add that for a little bit of extra flare down in the hole and quite honestly that's really all there is now to putting that set in the ground if you uh concentrate bedding that trap properly Get something down in the hole that they're, you know, inviting them in there to, to dig and, and search it out. You're going to catch predators anywhere across the country with this method. There's not a lot to it. There's not a, a tremendous amount of effort that goes into this. Dig the hole, pound the stake, bed the trap properly, have something in the hole. And basically what you're imitating here is something living down in there or something buried something. And... Peek into curiosity to that animal, and you're going to catch these uh, predators. And I'm sure we're going to have some uh, catches to show you throughout this show, but this is pretty much the tried and true set that I'm going to put in the ground every time that I'm out in the field. Anybody out there can do this. You can go out there, put some of these traps in the ground, 
Take some of these nest predators out of your equation. Take some of these coyotes out of your equation. Take a little bit of less of uh, that harassment off of them deer. And it's a very little bit of equipment that you need. Um, you know, we're, we, we have kits that have all these different things in it. Mountain Man, our bait, Mattis, our lure, uh, all of the tools that you need. But don't think that you can't go do this. If you go out and you bed your trap properly, 99% of your problems are going to be taken care of right there. If you, you know, have good equipment, you can go out and you can be the own steward of your own land. You're going to take some of these nest predators out of the equation. You're going to help your turkey population. You're going to help if you have problems with pet and animal conflicts. You're going to decrease those. You can do a lot of different things on your own that are going to help you be a more successful outdoorsman. And anybody watching this, you're already an outdoorsman. This is just one more thing that you can add to your repertoire that's going to help you be more successful when you go in the field.